so we're going to do a little introduction here of our space van. We're going to kind of tell you a little bit about it and uh, what it is and how we did our build. This is a 1991 <laughs> Chevy Lumina APV. It's got a 3.1 liter V6 um, throttle body injection and a three-speed automatic transmission. The only real modifications I did to it was I built a throttle body spacer for it. Um, other than that, it's pretty much stock. And I did that to improve uh, the fuel economy. We get about, on average, 22-ish miles per gallon on this trip loaded down. So, give you a little tour inside here. So, this is the front of our van. We've got a homemade center console that I built. Um, my good friend Rick 3D printed these cup holder inserts for me and then I built the box out of wood that I found and painted it up and the top is on a hinge so we can store stuff inside so that's pretty handy. Looking up on the dash, we've got some stuff to kind of remind us of home. Uh, some pictures from our wedding here, and over here is some of my good friends from the University of Platteville uh, Automotive Enthusiast Club, and one of my good friends from that club, Connor, gave me this lighter, the space lighter, to go along with the space fan, so we keep that up there. And my brother-in-law gave us this quick trip banana truck. We've been missing quick trips since we left the Midwest, so that's nice. We also have these custom space theme visors that Julia built for us. And those are pretty pretty cool. They match the curtains in the back, which we'll show you in a little bit. We also bit have here. this carbon monoxide detector that my brother-in-law also gave us, which is pretty awesome. It um, allows us to safely cook in here without poisoning ourselves with carbon monoxide gas, which would be bad. I don't want that. Here's our first aid kit that my dad gave us for Christmas. It is a uh, military trauma first aid kit. We just keep this right here so that if we need it, it is right there anytime. It's just kind of hanging from Julia's seat. What it looks like in the back. Julia and I and my dad built this lofted bed in the back. And Julia made these space theme curtains to go all around it. Um, the bed is made out of an old carport that my dad and I cut up and repurposed into the frame. And then the bed top has three of these uh, OSB sections. And these are just loose, you can pick them up, slide them around, but they sit down on top of the frame like that. And then the bed goes on top. The bed is made out of, we've just got like a thick foam mattress pad and then two heavy canvas sleeping bags zipped together. They're zero degree sleeping bags. And then um, a quilt on top and Julia made like a little bed sheet insert for it. She just sewed two sheets together and that makes it a little bit warmer and it also makes it easier to clean. We can just pull this out and clean it instead of washing the sleeping bags themselves. So all of our gear goes underneath there. We've got our clothes, food, cooking stuff, uh, backpacking gear, tools, hygiene items, all kinds of stuff. Here's how we get our water. We've got two big, I think they're two and a half gallon jugs of water. Um, we just fill them up, gas stations, rest stops, stuff like that. This is what our van looks like from the back. You can see here how the curtains are hung. We just use these little binder clips clipped into the trim of the van with some rope and then the curtains hang like that. It works pretty nice. And along with these space curtains, We've got these little window inserts that we built. So these are 
cut to the shape of all the windows in the van except for the windshield. And they've got a reflective bubble wrap on one side that's glued to cardboard that we spray painted black on the other side. So we pop these in, black side out, reflective side in, and that does a couple of things for us. It keeps it nice and warm inside. It keeps all the light out so it's nice and dark in there. Nobody can see in either. And also with the reflective side on the inside, light from like flashlights and lanterns and stuff is reflected and it actually brightens it up quite a bit on the inside. Um, and it keeps it warm in there. Another nice thing about having this black side is that if we pop these inserts in when it's sunny out, the sunlight really absorbs into the black and it actually warms up the van for us. So that's pretty cool. Or we can pop them in outs inside out and it reflects the sun. So that's pretty nice. So then under here, we've got our kitchen. We've got our cooler full of all our stuff that we want to keep cool. We don't do a whole lot for like milk or dairy or anything, but um, we've been able to keep our stuff cool enough to keep harder cheeses and uh, lettuce, fruits, sauces, meat, like sandwich meat and stuff. Uh, so that's pretty nice. This is our trusty white gas Coleman stove. It's pretty sweet. Julia's grandpa gave it to us. It's pretty much what we use to cook most of our meals. We've got a two-piece lodge uh, skillet combo it's like a like a pot with a pan lid so with that we're able to cook pretty much everything beneath it we've got kind of miscellaneous cooking gear um, that's where we keep our bowls and our pot pan and sporks and stuff and then um, we keep our food back behind the cooler here spices and stuff in those two little oh. We keep our food in these two little uh, short bins. So that's our kitchen. We, uh, we are able to peel the bed back either in the back here or in the front and uh, cautiously cook inside, but most of the time we do our cooking. So inside. also on our cooler, from all the notable places that we stop on this trip, we buy a sticker and put it on the cooler. So we are covering this bad boy. Don't put that in there. <laughs> it's our cooler. <laughs> so this was a pretty low budget conversion, especially being that we already had the van, but the van itself was cheap as well. Uh, so totaled up, I believe, including parts to fix it throughout the course that I've owned it. We've got around $1,500 into this van, including uh, everything to build it, because the carport was free, and all the wood and stuff that we used was also free. So it was a really nice, cheap build.